Welcome back to another video guys. Today you're watching Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad and I'm going to show you something on a gas furnace that I don't think I've seen before. Got a brand new ignition control board that was installed on this furnace and when the furnace engages the white which is the call for heating you begin the sequence of operations. You start the inducer motor first and then you close your safety, your pressure switch and after this you have a lighting of the burners and then a 40 it's a 45 second delay for the indoor blower to engage so this board doesn't engage the uh, contacts for that indoor fan motor and for 45 seconds then when the call ends and the heat is no longer engaged the white terminal is no longer engaged the red and white you don't have any power there that means that it stops the cycle you have a delay which is set by these dip, uh, dip set switches for the blower. So you could have a 60 second, 90 second, or 180 second delay for the fan. But what this is doing is it's not turning the fan off after the delay. It's actually just turning it off immediately, which is very, very unusual. I'll go ahead and take the panel off, and I'm going to go ahead and record this. And what I recommend you to do, if this is happening, is you probably need to get with the manufacturer. You probably need to get with the tech support, uh, and you need to find out what you can do to resolve the issue, because it could be just manufacturer problem with the board. It's a fault with the board, or glitch. All right, so I'm gonna take, and I'm going to simulate the thermostat here, red. To white. Let me get a good spot here. So, inducer motor running, closes the pressure switch, hot surface igniter glows, 120 volts applied, gas valve opens. Now we wait motor should kick on. We've got our other safety, our rollout switches here and here. Very unusual problem. We've got a nice blue flame, so we're burning properly. No need to check heat exchanger. This is an American Standard Furnace. Emerson Control. Very unusual problem. There's the indoor motor. See, it's not running because we have a delay. Click. The board engages the contacts for the relay for that motor. They're normally open. It closes. Now I'm going to take the call away. And you see that? That's not right. Okay. And sometimes your thermostat has a feature where you have a call for the fan um, and you can control with the fan with the thermostat or you can control with the board. Usually the board handles uh, the control, especially on a furnace, for the indoor motor. Um, definitely don't recommend that you keep this this way. Need to probably replace the board. That's probably the issue. And long-term effects of the indoor motor shutting off. You have this limit switch here, which measures the temperature in the heat exchanger area. And typically um, it's set for 190 degrees. This one is 190, so usually it's 200, somewhere in there. So you're gonna open the limit switch, it's gonna trip. And it could happen every time. And also, uh, your heat exchanger, I mean, you're losing that heat that you could be putting in the home. So it's not very efficient this way either. Plus, you're going to decrease the life of the, the heat exchanger. So, yeah, definitely a problem. Never seen this before. Just want to do a video of it. All right. Did the video. If you have any questions, comment below. Let me know if you've seen this in the field. And if you want to see more videos, check out my playlist, Tips for Technicians. And don't forget, I'll keep you cool if you let me.